Hey everybody, welcome back to my makeup wardrobe. <sighs> today, <laughs> today we're going to really dig deep. So I've never actually, I don't think, shown you guys my drawers before, but here is basically one of my lip drawers. So this one houses my bullet lipsticks, my liquid lipsticks, and then some lip glosses back there. And there's also lip liners in this one. This is kind of a mess right here. Um... I kind of just threw everything on top for now because it was really hard to find a spot for everything. So we have that drawer and then we have one more drawer above it which houses some lip balm type stuff, some random junk that really needs to be organized. And here you can see back here I've got some like two lip glosses and then I've got some more lip balmy type things back there. So what I think that we're going to do is I'm going to pull everything out of these drawers I'm gonna put it all on to a giant towel and we're just gonna go through all of it because I really need to declutter these two drawers I kind of want to try and make it so that it's all fitting into one okay so I kind of thought about it and I thought I was going to be swatching everything um, and now that I'm looking at it all sitting here together I don't know if I want to do that so we'll see Maybe we'll swatch some of the things and other things that we will definitely just get rid of. There's a lot of stuff I see here that I know I'm not going to keep. So I am going to grab a bin and we're just going to start decluttering. Okay, so what I know right off the bat is that I have a ton of... So I have a lot of these So Juicy lip balms and... You know, my friend Betsy sent me these to try out the formula. They're not really my favorite. I find them way, way too sticky. So I did ask her a while back if she would be okay with me just getting rid of these. So I am going to throw these out. I'm going to trash them just because, you know, I know Betsy's tried some of these and I did try some of these, but I just don't want to pass these along to anyone just in case because, you know, we put these on our lips. So I'm going to get rid of all of these here. All right, so this container is starting to get pretty empty. Um, a couple more of these things actually were sent to me by Betsy. Um, let me see here. So this one uh, actually Betsy sent me as well, I think. It did kind of separate for a bit there, so I did kind of try to stir it up a bit. Uh, but I was just swatching it, and even though it's a really cool, like, shifty gloss, it's just a little too on the sticky side and I know I'm not going to use that so I'm also going to get rid of this one here. So next I have one of these Lancome Juicy Tubes. I think this one I might keep if it's not too sticky feeling. I actually haven't used this one as you can tell it's pretty new. Let's see. I know people rave about these so I just want to see what the hype is about. Okay I don't know about that you guys. To me, that's really, really, really sticky. I know I'm not gonna wear that, so just, I will put that in my um, to give away pile and see if anyone in my family would want it. I also have this gloss here. This is from Pat McGrath, it's the clear vinyl gloss. I used this a few times. This was also sent to me by Betsy. Um, and I used it more for effect than anything, and honestly, I just don't see myself using this practically, so this is probably going to go along with that actually she sent me these two to try but unfortunately I don't know what it is it's just they're really sticky I love like her uh, luster glosses the ones that come in like these containers I have a couple of those I do like these ones but these here are just so sticky I am not gonna use these so these are also gonna go this one here this is Alana lips like tinted lip balm I've had this now for some time and I feel like it's pretty old so I should probably just get rid of it it was good but it wasn't my favorite unfortunately the color is really pretty but yeah I think I'm just gonna get rid of it because I have other lip balms I've been loving lately so I don't I don't need this because I don't use it all right so we have this one here this is more of a plumping gloss this is newer to my collection I actually bought this as a gimmick because it's got like high-end pepper or something in it and I was gonna do a video as a joke where I was like 
uh, spicy ramen versus like the milk makeup, whatever this is called, I can't even remember. Oh, the electric glossy lip plumpers. Um, but I am gonna keep this. I'm gonna hold on to this and see if I like to use it because I haven't used it because it was hidden in that kind of pile of stuff. So this is gonna stay. And I'm gonna make this container my stay container and I'm just gonna pull that aside because then I can throw some of my stuff in there. This is a bomb, I think, the Juvia's Place something or other. It's a caramel tinted lip balm. I won this in a giveaway. I've used it maybe once. It does have a little bit of a tint to it. I do like the formula of this, so I am gonna be keeping this one because I think I would probably use it. It's just been hidden away. Okay, I think on that notion of like lip balm -y, Things we're gonna go through this little container. This um, is actually a really, really good lip balm. This is the Vaseline Lip Therapy. It's got some glue on there. It's the rosy lips, but I used to use this all the time, but it's not really my favorite kind of tint for my lips. Like I will show you, it's just got the slightest, slightest hint of pink, um, but this is quite old and I've neglected it because you know, I discovered Laneige sleeping mask and other things. So I'm going to get rid of this one as well because it's just kind of old. Next, I have these by Bite Beauty. I have this one, which is the Agave lip mask in the original, I believe. Yeah, natural. And then I have this one in Candy Cane. This is unopened. I think I'm going to get rid of the natural because I don't like how it smells. But I am going to hold on to the Candy Cane because I do like minty lip balms and glosses. So I think I'll hold on to this one and I will give this a try. On that same note, this was a little set that I got with the Agave lip mask as well as in the balm form. The balm one kind of just seems to like break all of the time. Like I will show you. Look how, look at that. Like why have I even kept this? <laughs> this is ridiculous. So this one is definitely going like, that's gross. It looks like it has grass on it. Garbage. This one, I have used it, but it's not, it's not my favorite. And you can tell because I haven't really dipped into it a lot. I have far better glosses, or not glosses, sorry, balms that I like. Um, I'm not going to give this one away just because it is kind of old. I feel like it's like two years old now. Um, so I'm going to give this one a toss. Okay, all of my balms are not in this container. I'm just realizing there's like other ones out there. So here is the Lip Medics by Blistics Lip Remedy. This one, as you can tell, I've used quite a bit. It's one of my favorite types of balms, especially during the winter. Like it like repairs my lips overnight. It's so, so, so good. But this container is old. It expired in March 2020, right when the panty hit. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one I won in a giveaway. Okay, so this one I won in a giveaway. I've given it a couple tries. It's very, very like sweet, but I don't mind the texture of this one. So I'm going to hold on to this because I will continue to use it. Next we have this. It's a Smashbox Insta Matte um, Lipstick Transformer. It's supposed to like make your shinier bullet lipsticks turn matte. It honestly just feels like their primer, like the photo finish whatever primer that they have. Is it photo finish? I don't know. You know the primer I'm talking about. They're like face primer, their eye primer. It has that very silicone-y feel. Um, I've never really used this, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Next, we have this lip oil from Clarins. While I wanted to like this, I really don't like this kind of tint on my skin tone. I just feel like my lips look bruised almost. Like, it just doesn't go with my skin tone. I need something that's a little bit warmer. This is very cool toned, um, and this is a couple years old. I think I've given this a shot maybe like four to five times and I've just hated it every single time. Plus, it feels kind of sticky, not gonna lie. So this is gonna go. So I have two of these by Fresh, um, the Sugar Rose and the Sugar Tulip Lip Treatments. So I have used this one here. It's actually not a terrible formula. I think that I will keep this one. However, I just checked and this one hasn't even been touched. So I think I'm going to give this away to somebody. You guys, I feel like this is going to take forever. Okay, I'm just going to move off the top of these things here. 
These four here were sent to me in PR. These are the Lip Thirst Buildable Lip Colors from Estate Cosmetics. I actually want to do a lip swatch reel with these, but I also do want to do a video on these because they have sent me a couple uh, things that I do want to play around with and tell you guys more about. Let me know if you're interested to see a video on those, but I am going to hold on to all four of them. Next, we have this uh, lip stain from Tinkerbell collection from ColourPop. I have another one of these that is a part of a giveaway that you'll see over on my Instagram hopefully sometime soon. I am going to keep this one though. I haven't opened it yet. I did swatch it on myself but um, I'm just going to leave it in its box for now but I am going to hold on to this to remind myself to use it. So here is another one that I will be keeping and this one I bought it literally just because of how beautiful it is. So it's from Palace Identity. You can buy this off of ZC Cosmetics. So that's what it looks like. And look at the case. Look at the case for this lipstick. It is absolutely stunning. I have not swatched this. I have not worn it. It is a really, really beautiful color. The shade I got is called M10. I think it was apricot or something. Can't remember exactly. But here, I will show you. Look at the engraving on that lipstick. Isn't it stunning? I am so, so scared to use this because I don't want to ruin it. So I am keeping that and it's going to go back in its little box because it's just so beautiful. All right, let's talk about Kaleidos. I have two sets of their lip balms here. Hang on, let me open it. So one is missing from here because it's just sitting right here. I'm going to be keeping all four of these. I love this formula. It's so good. And I am also going to keep all four of the ones in the nude set. I know they're missing. Hang on. This one's here. I'm sure the other one's like around somewhere too, right there. So I am going to keep all eight of those. I do really, really love this formula. It's beautiful. It's buildable and it's just comfortable to wear. And I like this a lot more than just like liquid lipsticks. So I'll be keeping both of these sets. And obviously the tins are staying because look, look at how beautiful they are. Aren't they stunning? Like those are gorgeous. They're like a work of art. Absolutely love them. Okay, let's look at this stuff here. All right. So I have this Kaleidos lip balm thing. Um, I have one in use right now. And then I have this one. I think I'm going to keep this as a backup because I really do enjoy the formula of it. So this is probably going to stay. This this is something I can declutter. This is a lipstick from e.l.f. in the shade Ravishing Rose. This was actually a freebie that I got as a like gift with purchase type of thing, but this is not really a color or a texture that I care for wearing on myself. So I'll see if someone wants this because it's not that old, but it's just not it's just not my color. I think I will finally get rid of this lipstick. I have been holding on to this forever. This is from a brand called Marcel. This is the shade Attitude. Um, I mean, you can see I've used up quite a bit of that. It's one of my favorite nude shades. Oh, it's just so pretty though. Yeah, I think I'm going to put this one to the side uh, just because I want to compare and see if I have anything else like this in my collection. Um, hopefully I do. Otherwise, I may, <laughs> may someday want to get a um, replacement for that. So I'm just going to put this to the side so that I can remember to do that for myself. Uh, this lipstick from Artist Couture, I bought this last year. This is in the shade power play. I really quite enjoy the formula of this and I love the shade. It's just a really pretty like kind of peachy nude brown. I'm gonna keep that. I have this one here from Urban Decay. I believe this is the shade 1993. I also have the uh, lip liner in this but I absolutely love this. It's just the perfect kind of cool toned nude purpley brown shade. So I'm definitely keeping that. I'm going to move this one aside. I think we're going to talk about proper beauty altogether. Then I have this here from Shantikai. Um, I kind of feel like I bought this because like everyone was hyping Shantikai. So this is the shade Tiger Lily. I honestly, I love the elephant packaging of this. Like how cute. Look at this color. Do you really think I would wear this? I don't know. This is just so bright. It's like you can sheer it out but it's also really buildable. I think I'll keep this and I'll see how I feel about it in the spring. If not, my next declutter, it's probably gonna go. I should probably give it a try though because this was quite pricey. All right, so this you would have seen in my recent Sephora haul. This is very new to my collection. This is going to stay. It's the Silk Lip Balm from Huda Beauty. And then I have a Lisa Eldridge lipstick here. This is actually a replacement for one that I had that was broken. 
So let's see. I think this is the, yeah, this is the one that's intact. So it's, it's like perfect still. This is Velvet Fawn. I don't know if you can see the texture on it, but it's so cool. Such a beautiful color. Um, I ended up keeping the broken one as well. So it was just a matter of letting go of that broken one. So I think what I'm gonna do actually is I am gonna keep this one obviously, and I'm gonna let the broken one go when we get to it because I need to. All right, let's go through this here. So this is also another lip balm. This is from Juvia's Place. This is like a mango flavored lip balm or whatever scented it doesn't really taste like anything i love this it's so so good i always have this in my bag i had to actually pull it out for the video so this one is definitely staying because i really like this i also got this one in the giveaway next is another favorite this is the rare beauty with gratitude something lip balm mine is really dirty because it's really really used i don't know if i can there's a lot of product in here like Look at how much product is in there. Anyways, I'm gonna pull that back in because uh, I'm really scared it's gonna break. Um, but yeah, it's here. There, you can see how much I've used. I love, love this stuff. So good, so good. It's always in my bag for uh, when we go on day trips and stuff just because like this is the easiest thing to touch up some lip color. So this is staying. I also really enjoy this one. This is from Sol de Janeiro. I got this in a boxy charm last year. Um, it does look a little bit drier though. Let me see. Oh yeah. I feel like that's quite, like it's dried out since last year. It's just got a nice tint to it, but I think I'm gonna let it go because if it's a lip balm, it shouldn't feel dry. Like it shouldn't have to drag on your lips for it to do anything, you know? So this here is the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. Um, this is pretty new to my collection, love this formula, this is definitely staying. I don't know who I thought I was buying a bougie Dior lip glow balm, but I bought one and I have used it. Uh, it's pretty. It's like a really pink sparkly balm. I really do like the effect this gives on the lips, obviously because this was expensive and it's bougie and it's not that old in my collection. I am going to keep this. Then I have this Kosas lip oil. I have two more somewhere else. I don't know where they are right now. Maybe they'll come up or maybe they're in a bag somewhere, but I love these. I use them quite a bit, so all three of them are going to stay. Then I have this YSL um, sample, like deluxe sample or whatever that you have to use a code for. It's like a lipstick, but I think it's a balm. Look how bright that color is. This is not a color that I would wear, but I will swatch it for you. It actually feels really, really nice. Uh, it's similar to like the uh, Shantikai like in color almost, but Shantikai is a little more orange. I think that'll hold on to this. I love the smell of it. it smells like peaches or something, um, but I will hold on to this and see if I use it in spring or summer. And if I don't, then next winter it'll probably get decluttered. I have these three lip balms from Pat McGrath. They are minis. I love them. I think one's a clear and then one you have like this pretty color this is called this is flesh number three but in a bomb version which you know is a like a cult favorite color and then I have this one which is the clear so there it is it's just a clear bomb I love these they feel so great on the lips and then I have this one here this is blow up so pretty keeping all three of those I love the formula of that this thing I just have issues letting go of I need to let it go so it's actually like I'll show you I used up let me see if you can see in there can you see in there like how far down it's gone that I've used it up so I've used this up a lot this is a product by NYX it was like a lip primer type of thing I kept it because I thought I would use it up there's not that much left so it was basically double this I've used half um I'm gonna get rid of this I don't use this ever anymore so it's going in the trash Ooh, next I have these two. These are from, wait, are they both M Cosmetics? Yeah, one feels smaller. Oh no, okay, never mind. It's just the way I was holding it. These are great. I love both of them. One is in the shade Magic Hour and the other one is Venetian Rose. Absolutely love both of these. They're both staying in my collection. The formula is so, so beautiful. So beautiful. So I also have this like Bite Beauty Matte Lip Cream. I've had this for quite some time and I kept it during a declutter in the past thinking that I was going to use this, but I think I just don't like this color and it's not something I reach for, so I'm going to trash this one as well. And I have this one from Dose of Colors. This is in the shade 1928. It's 
part of their like Mickey Mouse collection. I love Mickey Mouse. For those of you who know me, this is a lipstick. It is a nudie color. I probably will have to mix this with other things or use a darker lip liner, but I think I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna try it out some more. I hadn't used it actually. This is my first time even swatching it, I think, because I didn't want to ruin the little Mickey Mouse imprint, but that's fine. Um, yeah, we're gonna hold on to that. Then of course I was showing you this earlier. This is from Pat McGrath. This is the Dare to Bear Lust Gloss. I am going to be keeping this. I think I have two more in the minis that I will also be keeping. So these are not going anywhere. So then I have this lipstick from Beauty Bakery. It's a mini lipstick. It's in the shade Cinnamon Churro. This was sent to me by someone. I never used this. It's not a color that I think I'm going to use because I have enough reds. So I'm going to put this aside and see if anyone I know wants it. Too Faced Lip Injection Plumping Gloss. I do use this here and there, so I am gonna hold on to this. I am one of the strange people, I guess, that loves the tingly lip feeling, so this is staying in my collection. So also this one, this is the shade Chill from Tower 28. This is just a little deluxe sample I got from Sephora. I am gonna keep this and try to use it up. It's a good staple clear gloss to have. Um, and I really love the formula, so I highly recommend this if you're in the market for a clear lip gloss. I think this one is a great one. So I have four of these Mademoiselle, however you say it, lipsticks from Fenty Beauty. They're all kind of in fun shades, I think. So like this one's like a navy blue. This one is a purple. This one is Griselda, so this is probably the most like normal. It's a deep burgundy wine type of shade, and then this one is a green. Uh, I am going to keep all of these just because I like doing fun looks for Instagram and reels and things once in a while, so I want to have some fun colors in my collection, uh, so I will be keeping all of these. All right, so we're getting pretty far. This is taking forever, though. All right, this is kind of what we've got left to go through. Um, I feel like this is definitely taking a lot longer um, than anticipated, but I guess lip products would take that long. Um, that is a thing. Uh, so far, I have more in my keep pile than I do in my get rid of pile, but also I guess you have to realize that I am doing YouTube, so I'm gonna need like different formulas and different things to compare different things. So a lot of the stuff is probably gonna stay for that reason. Uh, this basket, I know I'll get a, a rid of a lot from, so uh, we'll probably do better here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go through that last though because it's mainly like um, liquid lipsticks and I don't wanna stain my hands right now. Um, so we're gonna go through these here. Uh, let's do the bullet lipsticks. Um, should we start with the minis maybe? Because I feel like there's quite a few in here that I can get rid of. So let's let's look at these. These are two mini lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. I have the shade um, Glowing Gen and Viva La Vergara. So obviously it was for JLo, I think, and um, uh, Sofia Vergara. Like it's like, I guess, an ode to them. Um, you know, it's... Charlotte Tilbury is not really a brand I'm going to support a lot uh, going forward anyways just because you know she has a JK Rowling um, lipstick and if you know what JK Rowling's been up to I'm not really in support of that so until Charlotte you know decides that she's not going to have that so this one I haven't even swatched and I think I'm going to leave it I might see if my mom wants that one she might want the other one too so yeah I think I'm going to set both of these aside and see if someone in my family wants them. My mom loves lipsticks, so I'm sure she'll want them. All right, next I have this mini Vice lipstick from Urban Decay. It's in the same exact packaging. This is in the shade Back Talk. I know it's one of their more popular shades. I have tried using this a couple times. It's just too, like, it's, I don't know. It's like, actually, you know what? I don't know. It doesn't look that bad. Maybe I just got to find a way to want to make it work. Oh, that didn't feel really good. Oh, there, never mind. I was just going too hard at it. I don't know. It looks prettier there. It's like a purpley tone, you know. I think I might keep it. We'll give it another shot. Okay, next I have this one from Tarte. It's in the shade Beach Babe. I think I got this as like a 100 point perk or something. I've used the heck out of this, as you can tell. Um, it is a really, really, really light nude, though. So I've used it to lighten other shades. 
but I don't think I need to keep this one because I think I have something else in my collection that can probably do the same thing and this is quite old so I'm gonna get rid of this one so I have this one from Visanti Cosmetics this is in the shade high time it's like a nude shade uh, I tried out this brand last year so this is like a super nude like look at <laughs> that's so slanted it's so weird uh, but I think this could probably replace that oh yeah see those those are so similar i think the visanti one will serve the purpose i need from that tarte lipstick so i'll keep this one then i have this lipstick from colored rain this is in the shade may she rain i think this was from the safari collection possibly it's got cardboard packaging to it uh i kind of forgot i even had this lipstick to be honest so it's kind of like a pretty deeper nude type of shade. I think I'll hold on to it for now. I think I'm probably going to do a, like this is going to be kind of an overall declutter. And then I think I'll probably do deeper declutters where I kind of compare all of my uh, nude lipsticks to one another and then all my red lipsticks and that kind of thing. So then I can kind of get rid of more, uh, maybe a more like curated type of declutter. But for now, I think I'm going to keep this one. I do really like that shade. This is by RMS Beauty. The shade is called Temptation. Um, I have swatched this one, but I don't. I don't think this is a shade I'll keep. So maybe I'll see if my mom wants it. It is a matte lipstick. It's really pretty, but I think I just don't. I don't need to keep it. So I will put that in my like, you know, friends and family pile. Then I have this one from Bare Minerals. This is in the shade Honesty. This one I haven't swatched, but I think I nicked it probably, or the siding of this nicked it. But that's a really, really pretty shade. Yeah, that's a pretty shade, but I don't think I'm going to use it, so I'll put it in my giveaway pile. This is a Bite Beauty Multi Stick in the shade Cashew. I tried using it as a lipstick. I don't really like, I don't know. It's something about it. It's just so dry on the lips that I don't I don't love it. So I think I'm actually going to trash this one because it's kind of old. These three are more Pat McGrath minis. I have quite a few minis from her, so I think I'll probably keep them. Elson 2, I have this in a larger size, but I'm going to keep this one because it's my favorite red. Absolutely love it. So pretty. And then I have the shade Executive Realness right here and I haven't used this one yet actually. Would I use this shade? See, I don't know if I would use that shade. Maybe I'll give this one away. I'll put this in my gift to family and friends pile. And then lastly, I have the shade Self Care. This one I have used. Yeah, so this one I have used, it's the one right here. It's a really pretty color, so I think I'll keep that one. So I have another three of those Pat McGrath mini lippies because, you know, I bought a bunch of those sets. So this is 1995. I've used this shade quite a bit. I really like it. It's more of a brownie nude. And so I will keep that one. Then I have Flush 3. So I have this one in the balm. And then I have this. As you can see, mine's got blooming going on. That is not uh, mistaken to be mold. I know it kind of looks funny. You know, it does look weird. But I've asked you know, around, and I know lipstick wax blooms are something that can really happen. That's such a beautiful color. You know what's funny is my friend was wanting to buy this, and I didn't even realize that I had this in my collection already, and I was like ready to be like, I want that lipstick too, but girl, you already got it. And then the last one I have is Omi. Right, so I have this one here, which is Omi. This also has wax blooming going on on it, but I have used this one so that's that one there can you tell I have a type <laughs> love those we have a Mac mini this is in the shade velvet teddy and it's kind of the shade that it is it's really really pretty I think I actually have this in a full size now too yeah so I've got velvet teddy in a full size as well so I think I might I might just keep the full size and then get rid of the the mini and I'll give this one away to someone I know. I also have this shade from MAC called Hug Me. I'm pretty sure Betsy sent me this one. I can't really remember but it's a really really pretty like wet creamy nude shade. I'm gonna keep that because I love love those shades and I love MAC lipsticks. Then I have the MAC and Samantha Ravendahl collection. This was actually a gift someone had given to me but it's so light and it's so pink. It's a color that doesn't look good on me at all so 
I think because it's so old now, I'm just gonna have to get rid of this one. Sorry, Sam. And then the last one I have from MAC Cosmetics is the shade World. This is probably one of my favorites from them. It's a really, really nice, deep nude shade. Love, love that. So pretty. Next, I have this one from Dose of Colors. This is the Desi and Katie no shade this is also one of those like light like peachy nudes although because this one's not like pink toned and it's definitely more on the peachy side i can use this as a mixer lipstick to kind of like tone down other lipsticks or create other shades so i'm gonna hold on to this okay so this one here this is from smashbox this is the shade safe word i think i had a mini of it that i gave away and i kept the bigger one because it is a really beautiful kind of new. My camera cut me off, but I was basically just watching this Smashbox shade for you. And I was just telling you that it's a color that I do love. I'm going to keep this one. And the last two mini bullet lipsticks that were in that compartment are these two shades. I have the shade Famous and the shade Primrose. So Famous, again, is a like super nudie color. However, this is like so old that I think I'm just going to have to get rid of it. And same with this. Uh, primrose shade while I really really like the shade uh, and I love this formula they are just way 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 too old I mean they're really really pretty but I'm not gonna put them on my lips they're like five years old okay so I have this lipstick here from P Louise I know it looks like something else but it's not uh the shade is called heights it was i think in her like travel collection or something it came with a lip liner also it's just a super peachy like nude but i do really 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 enjoy this color so i am gonna keep this one it's gonna say the formula is really really nice so yeah next i have a weird lipstick this is from melt cosmetics and it's in the shade tomboy these were on sale and i was like i want to try this but like do you see it's like so weird and then like that's not the color it is i guess like it's more of what you're seeing here it's like this weird gray green that's what it looks like it's just really weird on the lips and i'm still trying to figure it out so i am gonna hold on to it for now mel's like play-doh that is my one complaint is i don't like the smell of their lipsticks so yeah i will keep it for now but like it makes me look dead okay then i have this charlotte tilbury in pillow talk this is like a diamond lipstick or something it's you can tell i've used quite a bit of it i do really really enjoy this one i've taken it on vacations many 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 times it's kind of like a gloss in a lipstick form it's so so comfortable to wear and i like it better than the original pillow talk matte revolution lipstick so this is staying next is this one here this is from makeup forever and it's in the shade m102 now this is just super sentimental because like i was given this for my wedding but as you can tell i haven't really really used it at all um it was like a wedding gift from my in-laws and i think i've just been scared of the color but i think um does it smell off? I don't know. It doesn't smell weird. Maybe I'll keep it up. Maybe I'll just keep it a little bit longer and I'll see if I can make some use out of it. And then if not, I'll let it go. But like literally every time I declutter, this just stays because of sentimental reasons. So I am going to keep that one. Here's one we can get rid of. This is from Bobbi Brown in the shade Pink Sand. Um, I really like, you know, this is one of those like light nude colors and I feel like I have enough of these but this is definitely more on the pink side whereas I prefer like the peachy side so I'm gonna get rid of this one it's just not one that I use and it's it's quite old next I have a lipstick from Odin's Eye I do actually have another one from Odin's Eye I have their new one so uh, it's not here this is a velvet lipstick in the shade light peach this is staying one of my favorite lipsticks hands down I don't know why it was like out like that but I love love this lipstick it's definitely more of a matte formula but such a great kind of orangey brown shade I love it then I have this shade and this isn't going anywhere either this is from Becca it's their lipstick love lipsticks in the shade Cupid's Kiss I think this was a part of like Chloe and Malika's um, collaboration with them but that is just it's like a salted caramel oh my god it's, it's so so beautiful on the lips and it's got that shiny thing that i like where it looks glossy so 
keeping it. Love this magnetic packaging too. Oh, this is Elson 3 actually. It's not Elson 2, so the larger one is different. So this is Elson 2 was a lot more bright red. This one's a lot more cool toned blue red. So I think I am going to keep this. This was sent to me by Betsy, but I really love, love that red. So I'm going to keep it. Okay, I'm going to leave the um, the Prop of Beauties for last. Um, let's go through these from Juvia's Place. So I have two from like, I guess the more nude lines I have, a mauve moment, which is like a mauve lipstick, obviously. So it is mauve and there it is. It's a really pretty color. I will keep that. I love this formula. And then I have the shade Me which was from like their peach nudes. And this is probably like hands down my favorite of the bunch that I got from them. So beautiful. Love that shade too. So that's going to stay. And then I have these two. I have a red and I have a purple. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the purple yet, but the red is definitely going to stay. So let's swatch the red just so you can see. So the red looks like this. It's called Perfect Red. I'm going to swatch it next to this one. Oh yeah, they're quite different. Right, one's definitely more like brighter and the other is not. So I'm keeping that one because I do really quite enjoy this red. And then the purple, oh, it's <laughs> such a scary, scary color. But let's swatch that maybe right here. Yeah, it's just really purple. I haven't used it yet, so maybe I'll hold on to it. I kind of want to see next to Griselda though. So Griselda's definitely got more of a like burgundiness to it. Mm -hmm. Whereas the Juvia's Place purpley one, what is it called? Uh, oh Damn is definitely more like purple. So I think I'll keep both for now. Okay, I'm going to be real. I feel like a lot of my bullet lipsticks are probably going to stay because I love bullet lipsticks. Those guys there though, a lot of, almost all of this is probably going to go. Um, let's look at Charlotte Tilbury. Because you know how I've been feeling about her. So, so this first shade I have here is Bitch Perfect. This is probably my favorite one that I have. Again, because it's like a nudie tone. So I am going to hold on to that one. Then I have Pillow Talk. This was my first one from her. But like, uh, let's swatch it kind of next to this. There's a wild difference between the glossy one and the regular pillow talk. So like, let's just look. See, I feel like I want to keep it though, but it's so similar to this one from a Juvia's place that I'm like, do I really need it? Also like, I don't know. Maybe I will keep it. Maybe, maybe I'll keep it for now. I know there's one in here. I'm going to get rid of this one probably. Stoned Rose. So this color is it this one or is it the other one? Oh, hang on. I don't know. I feel like this looked really weird on me, but maybe I need to give it another try. It's kind of like more on the orangey side. Okay. I think these are going to have to like be ones that I think about like over the next couple months. So I'm going to, I'm probably going to keep all of the Charlotte Tilbury like full size ones. This is Walk of No Shame. Um, Oh no, this is Walk of Shame before she came out with Walk of No Shame. So I think, actually, I think Walk of No Shame can go because I don't typically wear that kind of berry tone. So I'm going to see if my mom wants this. Okay. The Lisa Eldridge ones, obviously like all three, all three of the ones that I have are staying. So I have the shade, so this is Velvet Fawn that's broken right there you can see like it's just it's gonna fall out so I'm not even gonna bother trying so I'm gonna get rid of this now and then I have a velvet blush which is a beautiful like pinky mauve shade here I'll swatch it for you guys just so you can see I do have a lip swatch video on this look at that oh my god it's so pretty and then I have velvet jazz which is like a deeper red and there's that one. So pretty. Love both of those. Okay, and then I have all of these from Prop of Beauty. I'm actually going to just take this one out of its box because I, I know I'm keeping this one. I have 
how many are there? 12, 13. Why do I feel like I'm missing one? Oh no, never mind. There's five right here. They're all here. They're all here. Um, I want to do an updated lip swatch video on these. I did do a lip swatch video before, but I feel like my lighting and everything wasn't what I wanted it to be. And so I want to do that video again, but I know there are going to be some of these that I'm going to get rid of. Um, and I also want to do a lip swatch reel. So I think for now, like obviously I'm keeping all of these and maybe when I do my lip swatch video in that video, I can talk about the ones that I'm decluttering. Let me know what you guys think about that because for now I don't really want to go through these and like mentally declutter without trying them on my lips. I feel like that might be a better way for me to decide what I'm going to keep. I just feel like so many of them are um, similar depths but different tones and so I may not want to keep all of them. So I'm just going to put these aside for now. Uh, I'm going to hope to do that video sometime soon and then I can go ahead and do the declutter for these. So I'm just going to leave these be for a bit. All right, you guys, I am back. It's like two hours later or something, but I'm ready to do this, I think. <laughs> I don't really know. I'm going to go through the lip liners first, actually. So I'm just going to bring all of these out and I'll put them back in here. Okay, so I have this one that is teeny tiny. It's from MAC. It's called Staunchly Stylish. Like, it is tiny. I use this like nobody's business. It's actually one of my favorites. Uh, but I think it's gotten to the point where it's kind of dried out. It's a little scratchy when I try to apply it to my hand. Not as creamy anymore. So I think I'm happy to get rid of this now. It was one of my favorites for sure, but I, I no longer need to keep this. So this is another one I'm keeping. This is the Urban Decay 1993. Um, this one is still very creamy. It's that kind of cool toned brown. Goes perfectly with the 1993 uh, Vice lipstick from Urban Decay. So I do really enjoy this one. I use this also a lot with my Proper Beauties. So that will stay. Then I have this one from MAC. This is in the shade Bitter Sweet. It is a dark kind of cocoa color. I really like this one a lot. I don't have anything else like it, I think, so this one is definitely going to stay. I love the MAC formula. <sighs> Another MAC one. This is in the shade Nice and Spicy. So I think this is a good uh, option for me when I don't have Staunchly Stylish anymore. This will work, so I am going to keep that one. Obviously, this one's kind of almost done, but I use my lip liners actually quite a bit because <laughs> I don't have that many. Speaking of used stuff. I have this one here. This is the um, uh, 810 Natural from NYX. This is also a beautiful kind of nudie brown natural shade. It looks very, very similar to Nice and Spicy from MAC, but I am going to keep this one just because I do like the formula and I will use this up. Okay, so this is Milani. This is Spice. This is a kind of cult favorite OG type of lip liner. I really love this one. It is, you can tell I have a type of lip liner. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to use it up. Um, I will probably eventually replace this shade one day. Um, and I might actually pick up more of the Milani because I think these are actually my favorite formula that I've tried of lip liners. Okay, so I have these two from Charlotte Tilbury. I have Pillow Talk and Walk of Shame. So Pillow Talk actually... It's not going to do it now, obviously, but it's kind of already starting to come out. This, okay, I like the lipstick for Pillow Talk. So I like the lipstick for Pillow Talk, but I don't love the lip liner. Also, this sometimes comes out of here, so I don't know whether I should keep it or what. Like, I feel like I have so many similar tones, but do I just hold on to it so that... I can also just use this up and not have to buy another lip liner for some time, you know. So maybe, maybe I'll keep it. Maybe lip liners won't be something I declutter a lot of because I don't have as many. And then Walk of Shame is kind of that berry tone, which I think I'll keep the lip liner for even though I got rid of the lipstick. I think I can keep this. All right, so I have this one from P. Louise uh, Cosmetics. This is the Achievements, which went with the Heights. Uh, lipstick. Um, it came with it as a set. So there is that shade. Oh, 
it's right here at the bottom. It's kind of different than the other brownie tones that I have, so I am going to keep this one. It's a really nice formula too, actually, surprisingly, but the twist up ones aren't my favorite. I don't foresee myself getting rid of a lot of these because I do use all of my lip liners quite a bit. So here is NYX uh, Nude Truffle. It's more of a cool toned shade. Oh, right there, that one at the bottom. It's kind of different than the other ones that I have, so I'm gonna keep that. I do really like this NYX formula as well. This and the Milani one are really, really good. So for drugstore options, I highly recommend both. All right, and then I have this shiny, shiny, Beast right here. This is from Patrick Ta. This is in the shade She's Strong. It's just a nice brown shade. The shape of this is kind of odd. It's a little bit different um, and it's got like a clicker pen at the end of it. So that's kind of an interesting little mechanism. But there it is. It's kind of similar to this one here. Um, which I forget what that was that I swatched, but I'm gonna keep this uh, just cause it was kind of expensive and I will use it. <laughs> Next we have this one. This is from Pat McGrath. It is the shade Buff. Uh, Betsy sent me this one. I do use this quite a lot. I love the formula of it. It's right there. Very, very, very smooth and so, so nice on. Uh, and so, so nice to apply on the lips as well. So this is definitely staying. I do kind of want to pick up more Pat McGrath lip liners, but they're just so pricey. I just wish they weren't so, so expensive. Okay, so I have this nudie brown from Ace Beauté. The shade is called Be Peachy. So it's like a, I guess a peachy brown, I should say. Let's watch it right there. It's really, really pretty really creamy. So I'm going to keep that one. I think it's probably similar to some of these ones that I have. Kind of, but it's fine. I will use it. I know it's disgusting. I'm sorry. I should have cleaned that, but oh well. Then I picked up a new one from Melt, Melt Cosmetics. This is the Perfectionist Lip Pencil. I picked up the shade Sepia. It's like an olive toned um, lip liner, which I didn't think I had really anything like, and let's see. Yeah, I could see that's quite different from the other ones. So there it is, it's that one there. I do really, really like this formula. I also just got two more lip liners in my Melt Mystery Bag that I'm keeping. So um, I haven't added that to this pile yet, but yeah, I am keeping those two as well. And these are from Juvia's Place. These I got with the lipsticks. So we have the shade uh, sweet Nothing, which I think is probably one of their more like nudie browns. That's kind of a different, it's more peachy toned. I'm going to keep that. I do like the formula of their lip liners. It worked great for me. And then I have the shade Love Me, which is a more kind of mauve shade. There we go. Those are really, really pretty. Can you tell like I literally just have like nude pinks and browns. We're not really doing so well in the lip liner department, but it's fine. I think so far I only got rid of one. Yeah, I only got rid of one, but that's fine. So this is the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Plum. This is quite old, actually. And I don't know... Yeah, I don't really like... I don't really like that formula. I'm going to see if I can show you. Do you see how it's like clumping. I don't like that one. I think that one I'm going to get rid of. Um, it's probably just gone off. Next I have this one. It is from, is it Rimmel? Yeah, it's Rimmel. It's the Exaggerate Lip Liner in Ravish. This is also one of these like spin-up ones. It's also kind of like that really thick kind of, you know, I don't know. I don't like that. I'm going to throw that one out too. And then we have my only two red lip liners. So I have one from Ace Beauté. This one is called So Gorgeous. And then I have one from Revlon Color Stay. And this is called Red Rouge. Or I think it's just called Red. And in French, it's called Rouge. So this one is right there. And then this one, we'll do right above it. So I feel like the Ace Beauté one is way more creamy. The other thing is I think I don't want to keep this Revlon one because I don't know if you can tell, but it's not the most like it's 
see how easily it like spins so if I was to like line my lips like just watch it kind of moves around and it almost makes it kind of harder so I'm gonna get rid of this one just because I feel like the component itself is not ideal um, and so I'm not gonna want to use it if it's gonna shake around like that you know so we're gonna get rid of this one and we're gonna keep the Ace Beauté but here's a look at all of my lip liners and we got rid of five so I'm actually quite surprised so let me just go wash off my hand and then we'll move into whatever the next category I choose to do is you know what let's just go into my glosses I'm not gonna swatch a lot of these uh, right off the bat we have this one here this is the artist couture I think this was a part of their collection with the Oh, I can't remember what the palette's called. It was like a red, oh, the Caliente. It was part of the Caliente collection. I wanted to try out the formula of this. This is in the shade Peep Show. It is a beautiful, beautiful color, but I hate this formula so much. It's so goopy. It just, you know, it's just sticky. It's not attractive. The applicator is nice, but like, it's just so like, like, look at that. Look at that goopiness. Like, that's just kind of how it goes on your lips. And I am not a fan. So it's going and it's sticky. So I don't like that. This one here, this is from Pixie by Petra. It's the Honey Sheen. And this is actually kind of old. While it's like a really pretty kind of like nudie color, I just don't think I need that. Like I feel like I can get that from other glosses. So I'm going to get rid of this. Next, we have a Fancy Burberry gloss. As you can see, it's all kind of separated in there. This is kind of old now. Um, I'll see if it swatches for anything. It was a lovely color. It's a lovely, like, nude color. This actually feels really, really nice, too. But it kind of smells off now, and I feel like it just needs to go. So there it is. It was really, really lovely while I had it, but I don't need it anymore. Okay, so these are two from Stila. This one is used, this one is not yet used. Um, however, I do like this color, so I'm gonna keep that. And then this one is in Kaleidoscope, and I do really like these glosses. Do you guys remember these? Like, these were like, OG. Like, everyone wanted these, and these were all the rage on YouTube. Like, I wanna say back in the day, like maybe 2010 to 2013-ish or something, but. I love these. I still love these. So I'm going to keep both of those. This one here, this is from um, Bare Minerals. It's a Marvelous Moxie Gloss. Um, I just, I've had this for a very long time now. It feels like it's kind of dried out. That is not a color in gloss that I enjoy wearing. Like I really don't care for like a coral gloss. Also hate the smell of this. It smells really funky. Um, so this one is going in the trash. I think we're going to do well here, you guys. I think in the glosses, we're going to do really, really well. This is brand new. Uh, this is uh, Muse from Lisa Eldridge. It's a beautiful, beautiful gloss. Absolutely love the formula. I love the applicator. Look at that. Look at that shade. So that actually kind of resembles the Burberry, like, but it's just a little more, I don't know, it's different, like a little more pink, but you know what? I'm happy with that, so I don't need... The Burberry, obviously, but this is staying because it was super pricey and it's lovely. Lovely. Okay. This one, I think the Fenty Glow, like this is old now. I have had it for a very long time. It smells okay still, shockingly, but while it's a beautiful gloss, I don't really reach for it that much anymore. And I think if I did want to reach for it, I probably need a new one because this is a couple years old now. I want to say like four years old so I am not going to keep this this is going to go in the trash but it is really pretty I think I might get it in a different color someday but I don't need any right now this is going to go Natasha Denona while I love so many of her products this is horrible <laughs> this is horrible the shade is horrible it's sticky it's I don't know I don't enjoy it at all I don't even know what led me to pick this up this is sorry it's it's goodbye here's one from juvia's place i'm not even going to open this yet hang on i will swatch it for you because i want i'm curious but look how funky how funky does that look 
Okay, I got this when I got all this like other lipsticks and stuff in this packaging. The shade is called Sweet Beats. Um, it's supposed to be like a gloss. Isn't that weird? Look, it's just moving it all around. It's like a slushed up popsicle or something. It's really weird. But anyways, that's kind of what I was going for with this like a purple popsicle kind of, um, you know, just kissed your lips type of look. But I did not like the formula of this. So there it is kind of in the center, but I'm going to get rid of this one. And I don't feel like I want to give that to anybody. So it's just going to go in the trash. This one by Makeup by Mario. I believe I got this last year. I do really enjoy this one. So I'm going to keep this. This is in the shade Rose Nude. Here's what it looks like on the applicator. And let's just see. It's just super like sparkly. Like, can you see that? Oh, wow. That's really beautiful. I do really enjoy this one. It's really nice and smooth. It's not sticky. So this one will stay. Yeah, it's definitely not sticky. It's got more of like an oily feel to it, which I like. So that'll stay. All right. So Dose of Colors. I really like their glosses. This is the shade Made You Blush. I don't know what the hell I just, what did I get on my hands? I don't remember that being there, but I don't know what it is, but whatever. We'll just continue. So here is the shade. This is more of an opaque gloss, but I really, really do like their formula. I love the shade. This is going to stay. Along with that, I have these two. So this is from the Mickey Mouse collection, if you couldn't tell, obviously. Uh, one is called One and Only, which is kind of more nudie brown gloss love that color love it so that'll stay as for this one i'm just not sure about the color of the sparkles but let's see honestly i bought this stuff because it was on a huge discount let's see yeah see i don't know it's just a little bit on like the orangey side. I just don't know how much use I'm going to get out of this. And I don't know, maybe I'll put it in like my see who wants it kind of pile, but I don't really see anyone using this. So it might end up going in the trash. We'll see. Um, this one here, this is one of those like Fenty gloss bomb creams. This is in the shade cookie. I remember I bought this because I was so excited, but only really because she really sold it so well from her <laughs> reel that she did. Um, this is a lip gloss I have not yet really used, but because I got rid of the other one, I might keep this just to see if I use it, but I feel like if I don't use it by my next declutter, it's probably going to go. Then I have this one. This is Dolly from Buxom. And I really do like this formula. This though is quite old now. And I've used it a lot. But there is still some left in here. Do I want to keep that? I feel like my other glosses could probably give me similar vibes. That maybe I don't need this, especially because it is so cold. Uh, or not old, cold, sorry, old, but like if you can tell, there's not much in there. So maybe I'm going to get rid of this one, I think. Next is one from Pat McGrath. This is not going anywhere. This is the shade Pale Fire Nectar. So Pale Fire Nectar is like a really glittery pink shade. I really, really, really think it's gorgeous. So she's staying. Okay. Then I have this one from e.l.f. This is a lip lacquer and this is in the shade Wild Rose. I can't say I've even really used this. I didn't get this that long ago, so it's still fairly new to me. Let me feel it. Okay, it doesn't feel super sticky. It actually feels really nice. So I think I will hold on to this just as a kind of affordable option in case I talk about drugstore makeup. This will be a good one for me to hold on to. Okay, let's talk about this. This is Salted Caramel. This is a Bite um, Beauty French Press lip gloss. These smell like coffee. I don't know if this smells like coffee anymore, but let's see. 
Yeah, it's kind of smelling like old coffee now. It was a really, really pretty gloss while I had it. The formula was beautiful. I don't even think that they make these anymore. They were one of those like Sa Samantha Ravindal favorites until they got discontinued. Yeah, it's such a nice like non-stick formula. It's just beautiful, um, but it's so old. So I think I should probably let it go at this point. I did get a lot of use out of this though. I used it a lot, so. Um, it sparked joy while I had it, but now I can say thank you and let it go. So thank you, beautiful salted caramel lip gloss. So this one is newer to my collection. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss. This is in the shade Toffee. This one I got in like an Ipsy gift bag that I got free from somebody. Um, it's a really, really like opaque gloss but it's not like super shiny I think I'm gonna hold on to this one because it does look really really pretty and I think it's kind of up my alley for if I just wanted to wear a kind of opaque lip gloss and not have to worry about uh putting on lipstick but that's so so pretty okay I have this super teeny tiny one this is from Rare Beauty it's one of their I don't know what these are called actually. It doesn't say on here. It says that it's nearly neutral balm. So I think it's a balm in like a lip gloss form. And I've used this maybe once, but I haven't really since. So I think I'm gonna hold on to it though. Um, just cause I feel like I can probably use this up and it's kind of a nice like sheer color uh, right there on top. So it does look quite pretty. I think I'll, I'll hold on to that one. It doesn't really take up a lot of room anyway, so we're good. We're good. Um, here is one I will get rid of. This is by the brand Juice Beauty. And I have had this for so long. Like, I want to say I've even had this over five years. And I don't know why I've never gotten rid of it. I think it's probably just because it's, like, such a cool color. So the shade is called Fig. Um, and it's, like, a super, like, metallic lip gloss. Oh yeah, it's not smelling so good anymore. Um, but there it is. It's just like a really pretty, like, I don't even think you can tell right there. Let me try here. There. It's just this pretty metallic gloss, but holy shit, that <laughs> does not smell good. So that is gone. Okay, so then I have this one from Juvia's Place. This is not even opened. The seal is still on. It's called Sophisticata. It was a part of a little uh, winter collection last year, and it came with a eyeshadow quad. Um, I haven't opened this, and I'm not inclined to open it, so I think that I'm going to part ways with this and see if someone else wants it, because it is a brand new lip gloss, and I have plenty of other ones right there that I'm keeping that I, I don't really need to be greedy and keep this one, so I, I think I can let this go. Okay. So next I have these two from Tower 28. Now, watching Hannah Louise Poston's video, I know her, one of hers went off. I don't have that shade. I think that was the shade Cashew. Um, I have the shade Almond and I have the shade Coconut. Both of them still look the same as when I got them. Almond is my favorite. I use this like all the time. I just want to make sure it doesn't smell weird. Mm, it seems like it still smells okay. So maybe like I'll keep it a little bit longer until I feels like it's really off But I do know that these have a six month shelf life. So there is that one I do really really love this formula like if I Had like no glosses and I was only gonna keep one gloss in my uh, Makeup wardrobe. I would keep the tower 28s like I would probably just get their entire collection and not have any other glosses and here is coconut coconuts a really beautiful like kind of pinky tone I want to go double check that this looks the same as what it's supposed to look like but I think it does I think just on my camera it's showing up a lot brighter but there it is it's just a nice like juicy pink shade um this one smells okay too and I think I'm just going to keep them both because they are really, really, really pretty. So then I have this one. This is from Share Planet. Uh, I think Betsy sent me this one. This is called Wintery. I think I'm going to keep this one just because it's like a really cool iridescent gloss. And it gives me that effect. Um... There you can see, like it gives me that effect that I wanted from the Kevin Aquan, but because I got rid of the Kevin Aquan, I think that I can keep this one. Um, and it's not sticky feeling like the Kevin Aquan. Oh my God, look, it's so purple. That's so cool. Um, yeah, I'm definitely keeping that. 
Then I have two of these from Marc Jacobs. They're two different products. This one, <laughs> I know that was kind of shocking, hey? Um, so this one is actually like a lipstick, but like, or like lipstick form, but it's like a gloss stick. I love, love this. This is in the shade Wet Your Lips. It's absolutely gorgeous. Like it just makes your lips look so, so juicy. So it's this one right here. It's so pretty. The color is perfect. I got this on like a really good sale when Sephora was kind of getting rid of the Marc Jacobs stuff. So that one's staying. This one, um, I think someone sent me a while back. This is the Allow Me Enamored Lip Gloss. Um, I'm not really sure about this shade. And I feel like I have other pinks like it. And it doesn't smell the best. So I think that I'm gonna part ways with this one. And then I have these, these are from Sydney Grace. Um, these were also sent to me by an old friend. Um, and I have the shade Sarah, Faith, Beverly, and Alyssa. Um, these are nice, I don't really think I need all of them though. Let's just see. Um, I'm just gonna clean off my hand and then let's watch them. Okay, so I got my hand as bare as I could. So let's swatch this one first. This is Sarah. I have used all of them at least once. So Sarah is this beautiful kind of opaque plummy shade. Oh, I think I might want to keep all of these because they're so different. Okay, so let's see. This is the shade Faith. This one's more like a rosy brown. Oh yeah. Do you see how opaque those are? Oh my god, that's yummy. And then this one is Alyssa. This is more like a berry rose. They're all so different. Oh my god, they have so much shine to them. And then this one is Beverly. This one's like probably the most like nude. I think it's like a nudie pink tone gloss. Yeah. So there they are. Let me see if I can focus. There we go. I really like all of them. I honestly think I might just keep them all. Should I? You know what I want to do actually, I want to try this one next to these. Is it close enough to that tone? I don't know, they're pretty different, right? Okay, hang on. We're gonna, we're gonna crack down the whip on these, or at least try to. No, this is entirely, entirely different. Was there any other one? Maybe I'll try the the ones from Dose of Colors with these because those are also quite like opaque. They're so different. How is this happening? Okay, like that, I mean, at least that shows that like I don't dupe myself out that much like they're all so different. Um, I think I'm gonna keep them all. Yeah, I think so. I mean, that's not all my lip gloss because I think there's some in that other container, but I mean, it's not overflowing like it was, so that's a good thing. Let's move on to these. These are gonna be real fun. I'm just gonna dump everything out. There are pretty much all of my liquid lipsticks. There's a lot, so um, I know that these I'm gonna get rid of pretty much all of them because these are so old. These are the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Whoop. <laughs> these are the ABH uh, liquid lipsticks and they're falling everywhere. So I have, let's see, what do I have? Do I have two minis? I thought I had four. I might have got ridden, rid, my ridden? I might have got rid of some of them. So. I have these two minis. I've got the shade Hudson and the shade Dazed. Um, you know, like they were nice while I had them, but I, I really don't think I am gonna pick these up and use them anymore. So both of these are gonna go. And these are going in the trash, by the way, because they are so old. So these, um, I have this shade here. This is Seraphine. It's a beautiful red tone, but honestly, I don't, think that I'm gonna pick this one up and use it just because it's so old. So that is gonna go. This is the shade Catnip. 
So this next shade is Catnip. This is also going to go, it was a beautiful pink that I used uh, a couple times. This is Soft Lilac, also going to go. This is Craft, beautiful, like kind of deep purpley tone, like almost a magenta. Really, really beautiful. And then I had this shade, which... Um, if you can tell here, uh, eyelash glue and tissue kind of did some damage. This was the shade Ashton. It was a really, really popular uh, liquid lipstick shade. I think it's still really beautiful, but I just don't need it. And then this one is the shade Naked, which is obviously a super, super nude. Not a color I would wear on its own, but I used to use it to mix in with these. Um, but these are all just so old, and I'm not going to put them on my lips because they're so old. So they're going to go these two. These are from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. These are both super, super new to my makeup wardrobe. They're kind of like the uh, lip clays from Kaleidos. And so I'm probably going to keep these because I really like that formula. And I know I will probably like this. It's kind of more like a moussey formula than it is um, a liquid lip but they're really really pretty and I see myself using both of those shades so both of these will stay let's see oh this is a lip gloss this shouldn't have been in here but this is a lip gloss I got in a um, giveaway a long time ago it was supposed to be like that white uh, iridescent type of shade but obviously like other colors have mixed in there I'm gonna get rid of this one because I really don't enjoy this formula I just had it to get that effect uh, but now I have that one from shared planet so I don't really need this so bye bye to you appeal cosmetics <laughs> I do have a few of these NYX ones uh, these two are the same shade they're the shade London somehow end up buying them twice uh, but like they're pretty dried out that one let's try the other one if one of them is still good I might keep it because it is one of my favorite colors oh yeah that's way better so um, I think you can tell right there the other one's kind of gone so I'm gonna keep this one but the other uh, London is going and then these three shades this um, this shade here is Prig. They were all named after cities. This one I probably won't use because it's so bright. It's not my type of color. So I'm probably going to trash that because it's old. Uh, this color here is Budapest. I really do like this for like a fall shade. So I'm going to keep that because it's kind of more muted almost. Um, so I will keep that one. And then this one here is a pink. This is Milan. I'm pretty sure I probably got it in a set or something. I wouldn't have bought this otherwise. Uh, that is not a color I want to keep. So that's going to go in the trash. Okay, this is a melted matte from Too Faced. This is in the shade Sellout. This is actually probably my favorite liquid lipstick formula. And I love this color. So I'm going to keep this one. It's a little bit older, but it still works okay. And it smells okay. So... I'm happy to keep this one because it really, really does spark a lot of joy for me if we're going to Marie Kondo this whole thing. So um, let's see. Let's do this one next. I think I have two of these. Both of these are going to go. Um, these are pretty, pretty old. They are Tardiest Pro Paints from Tarte. Um, the colors were pretty. I used these quite a bit. So there's one. It's a cool toned kind of pinky purple tone and then this one's more brown I think yeah they're just so dry I don't know they're they're both gonna go they're quite old okay so this is actually one of my favorite shades ever this is from the KVD line it's the uh everlasting liquid lipstick in the shade bow and arrow it's my favorite nude but this is like old it's not dead yet though surprisingly but you can see it, it's right there it smells way off so this is gonna go but I might replace this someday because I really did enjoy wearing this this for the longest time was my only liquid lipstick that I had and it's the only one that I used and it's my favorite formula so um besides the Too Faced one so I think I might pick that up because it's a little different than the Too Faced unless I have something else that's like this that I'm gonna keep Okay, and then I have this one which is newer it still has a Kat Von D packaging this is in the shade Ludwig and then this one is a little bit more lighter nude. I don't really like this color. So I think I'm going to get rid of it. I don't really wear that one. Okay, this is kind of a fun one. This is also the Tardiest Pro Paint, but this is newer. Someone uh, very near and dear to me sent me this. Um, and this is in the shade Rave. And I've used this for a couple looks. And everyone always asks, 
what color it is because it's just this kind of grayish purpley I don't even know it's like so so beautiful um and I love love wearing this one so I'm gonna hold on to this because I think it's really really pretty okay let's do this one next because this one I think I'm getting rid of. This is by Jouer. It's in the shade Noisette. Uh, when I bought this, I actually accidentally ordered the wrong shade and then I decided to keep it. But it's always been like this, like very dry kind of clay-like. Like, I don't know. It just, I don't even think it picks up anything when it goes into the tube, but it's just very dry. It's a really, really pretty color, but it's just not a formula that I'm looking for. So, um, it's just gonna go, it's also quite old, so I don't think I feel comfortable giving it to anybody, so I'm gonna get rid of that. We have another lip gloss that has, you know, hidden among the, uh, the lipsticks. So this is in the shade Divine Rose. I'm obviously gonna keep this one. You guys know I love the formula, so that is staying. Here is another old lipstick, liquid lipstick um, that I'm gonna get rid of. Come on, let's focus. Yep, so this is another oldie. Uh, this is the I Love Sarahi in ColourPop um, in the shade Softy. It is a beautiful color. I've worn it a couple times in the past. Uh, formula still seems okay somehow, but it smells kind of alcoholy, and I'm just not going to put a product that old on my lips now, so I think I've had this probably for three or four years. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. Here's one I do kind of like. This is the Huda Beauty uh, Liquid Matte Lipstick, and this is in the shade T Trendsetter. I was going to say Tender Heart. That was weird. <laughs> it's like a Care Bear or something. Um, this is just kind of a brownie nude color. I really, really like it. I got it in a lip set. Um, I think the price of it was super affordable, and this was the full-size lip product that was in it, so it was kind of cool to get that, and I think I also got a Stila one, so I am going to keep this. I do really enjoy this. This one is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's a metal matte liquid lipstick. I haven't even... I've swatched it, but I haven't even tried this on, I think. Um, I like the teardrop-shaped, you know, applicator. This might be cool for some, like, really cool lip effects on like different looks that I do for like Instagram and stuff. I think for that reason, I might hold on to it. I do have another one that's kind of like this metallic thing. Let's see, this one. This one is, oh wait, is this the gloss? This might be a gloss. Um, this is called Distro. This is from Colored Rain. I feel like this is the gloss. Oh yeah, that is 100% the gloss. Uh, there it is. Am I gonna keep this one? It's really cool. It looks very multi-chrome, um, but it doesn't look multi-chrome when you apply it. I don't remember loving the feeling of this on my lips. Like I feel like I could feel the grit of the glitter. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of that one. That is a bye-bye. So here it is. This is the metallic lipstick that I was talking about. This is in the shade Empire, but it is quite different than the one that I have from e.l.f. So that one's more like a bronze, whereas the e.l.f. one's more like copper. So I think like just for having a different vibe for a different look, I might keep that one for now, but if I don't use it, then we'll get rid of it someday. This one here from M Cosmetics. This is in the shade Morning Mocha. I absolutely love this formula, love this lipstick. I am definitely going to keep that one. I actually want to see if that one compares to my Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Bow and Arrow. Let's just do a quick, quick swatch. I mean, it's close, but it's a lot warmer than the KVD. The KVD has a little bit of pink to it still, so not exact, but we're getting there. Oh, here is another loose um, <laughs> ABH. This is in the shade Bittersweet. This one is also going because it's one of the really old ones in my collection. This one, I wore it recently. Um, this is from Makeup Forever and it's in the shade 103. I used this recently to kind of like lightly dab onto my lips to make it look like a really cool look and uh, I really do like this one. I think that I might keep this because I'll use it as the uh, Naked from ABH in my collection where I use it to lighten other shades. So I think I will keep that one. Okay, so we have some dose of colors. This shade here is pretty new to my collection. It's got some weird pink stain on it now. This is my main from the Desi and Katie collection. I think I only bought this like not even last summer, 
that's a really, really pretty nude. I think I'm going to keep that one for sure. These two, however, I love both of these. This is a uh, black rose and this is stone. Stone is my favorite, probably most used dose of colors, lip, liquid lip, but um, it's so old, so old. I've had it since before I even got married, so I'm going to get rid of both of these. Here is another matte liquid lipstick from uh, e.l.f. This is in Praline Petal. Praline Petal? Yeah, I think it's Praline Petal. Um, and it's got that same beautiful, like, uh, applicator. So I think I'm going to keep this one. I, it's right here. I do kind of like that color and it'll be nice to have this for when I do uh, drugstore style uh, makeup videos. I also have this one from Dose of Colors. This is from the Mickey or the Minnie Mouse collection. This is in the shade Bowtiful, like Bow Tiful. And it's just like a really nice kind of peachy nude. I don't think I have anything else like that one, so I will keep that color. I do love the formula, and this one is newer to my collection. Okay, this one I've had for some time now. I've wanted to like it, but I don't really know if I do. It's more of a lip stain than it is a liquid lipstick. It's in the shade Rustic. Um, and while it was a really, really pretty color, I don't know. I just didn't really enjoy it. So I think that I'm going to get rid of this one. This here is from Rare Beauty. It's in the shade Strengthen. Um, I bought this last year when Rare Beauty came out just to try out a bunch of products. Um, I did like this at the time, but I feel like there's just so many other formulas. And this isn't really a color I feel like I'm going to gravitate towards. So I might see if maybe my mom would want this one because it's not super, super old. But yeah, we'll see. We only have six more left to go through, and that's the last of all of my lip products. So let's just get this done. So this one is uh, something I think I got in a boxy charm last year. It's the Ola Neon Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the Easy Cell. I'm not sure if this... I think I've already swatched it before I tried it on, but... Um, I don't know, maybe I'll hold on to it for now, see if it's a color that I like to use, see if it's a formula that I like, because uh, I don't think I kept really anything like that. Uh, it's not really a red red, but it looks pretty, so I'll hold on to that. Um, this is a NYX Liquid um, Cream Lipstick, and the shade that it is in is... Oh, put it on. Um... I don't even know what color this really is, so let's see. Is it black? No, it's like a really, 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 really dark purple. Um, it looks pretty black, though. Should I keep that for, like, fun looks? Maybe I'll just hold on to it for fun looks. I know I've heard, like, pretty good things about this formula. Then this one... Uh, this is from BH Cosmetics. I haven't even opened this one don't even really remember how I acquired it. It might have been given to me by a friend, but I'm going to see if maybe my mom wants this one um, just because I haven't opened it, or if not, then I'll give it to someone else I know. But yeah, I'm not going to keep it just because I haven't opened it. Uh, this lipstick here I've had for a couple of years now. Uh, this is in the shade Avant-Garde. It's just a beautiful kind of uh, deep reddish uh, muted tone, but... I think that I might get rid of this one at this point just because it's so old. This brand is pretty easily accessible for me here where I live, so I can just pick a new one up if I ever wanted to. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Lastly, I have two reds. Okay, so I have Scarlet from Juvia's Place, which let's go ahead and swatch. So Scarlet, oh my god, that applicator is huge. Do you see how big that applicator is? Anyways, so there is Scarlet. And then I have from Colored Rain the shade Homicide. So this is more of like a deeper red. So I think I will keep both of these just so that I have two kind of different toned reds to play with. And yeah, I think that top one there, um, actually, this Ola Neon, the one that's like the very top swatch, I'm going to let it go. Um, I don't know that my mom will want that one. So I think I'm just going to trash this one, to be honest, actually. I don't know. 
you know what? No, I'll put it in my pile. See if my mom wants it. If not, then I'll get rid of it. That's all I have left for my liquid lipsticks, you guys. Like, this whole thing was full to the brim. Like, full. All right, let me clean off my hand. Let's take a look at everything that we've gone through. All right, so here's kind of a look at everything that I'm keeping. I mean, I know it looks like a lot sitting here, especially because this tub is, like, so full. But a lot of the stuff in the bottom is in boxes and things. And... I think once kind of organized out, like it won't be so, so bad. Um, and obviously I still haven't gone through my Prop of Beauty lipstick. So some of those might be gone. I, I do anticipate getting rid of, of at least like four or five of those. Um, but like my lip liners, for instance, like I feel like I did really good. My liquid lipsticks, <laughs> we got rid of so many liquid lipsticks. Like it's, it's wild how empty this is. This was so full. It was so, so full. Um, so I'm really, really happy about that. And I'm happy with the amount of lip gloss that I have left because lip gloss is actually probably one of my more used uh, lip products these days. So I'm, I'm comfortable with the amount that I've got here, but I do foresee myself doing a further declutter in the future. But this for now, uh, just for downsizing purposes, is really, really good for me, I think. Um, so let me just show you what we're getting rid of. Actually, I just forgot that I didn't even mention these. I'm keeping these two as well, which hold four um, lip clays each. These are all staying. Um, but I'm probably not going to keep them in their little tins. We'll see. Like, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it pans out when I'm trying to organize them into the drawer, but these are also staying. So just wanted to remind you guys about those. Okay. Here's a little bit of stuff that I'm going to run through my mom or whoever, just to see if anybody wants to snag any of these products. If not, then they're probably going to go in the trash. Like there's not a lot in here. So, um, that means we have a lot more trash. So let me just show you. Here is the entire bin of lip products we are getting rid of. Like, this is actually quite heavy. There is a lot in here, as you can see. Let me just center you off. But yeah, I'm getting rid of quite a bit. I am really, really happy with the amount that I've decluttered. I mean, if you guys want numbers, I'll probably put them up on the screen for you. I'm not going to sit here and count them out right this moment. Uh, but when I'm editing, I'll put them out for you and let you know how many I threw out, how many I kept, um, if that's something, you know, you find is important. I don't really like to think about numbers. Um, I like to think about it as in capacity of what I'm able to hold on to in my drawers. So... Yeah, that being said, this is all for this video. I will be back, obviously, with more declutters because this is a thing that we're going to be doing over the next couple weeks just so I can get rid of things um, as I'm downsizing for our move. So let me know what you think, and if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Let me know how you think I did in the comments down below. Let me know if you've done any declutters recently and how they've made you feel. So, um... This is just kind of the start. I've already done it with my clothes and now I'm kind of moving into my makeup. So uh, it's been a journey. So I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, I hope you all stay safe, be kind, and be healthy. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.